Hi there and welcome back to another video from Let's Talk by George. Today what I am trying to talk to you about is an app called Bromite. Now of course when you hear the particular name Bromite you might think that is it a chemical from a periodic table? No it's not. Let me tell you what it is. It is an Android web browser and it is opened in front of you. Yeah it looks like Chrome, I agree with that because this is a chromium fork and you might think what the bloody hell is a chromium fork well uh, it's a bit complicated to explain so I will leave that honestly speaking I don't know how to explain it <laughs> so I don't want to create a mess or I don't want to give out wrong information but what it is now chromium I mean bromite is a privacy oriented web browser this is what they say and this is what I believe. They say that this is privacy oriented, fine, let us take it as it is. Since nobody has proved or nobody has proven that this is a not a privacy oriented website. So till then we will believe that this is a privacy oriented web browser. Now let's have a look. In the initial setup, setup insel, itself, we will come to know that this looks exactly like the Chrome, Google Chrome since it uh, gets the base from chromium sources now as i told you earlier it is a bit complicated to explain you don't need to do, know each and everything um, well let's proceed with uh, looking at the ua we have a couple of bookmarks here let us click on this chromium thing okay fine right this is what chromium is Chromium, as you can see, they have beautifully written what is a Chromium. Chromium is an open source web browser project that aims to build a safer, faster and more stable way for our, yeah, you can read it from here if you want to, <laughs> no issues. Now, the, let's have a look how easy it is to use, right then, we will type in Google, right, okay, fine, let's go to Google, yeah. We are searching about Google <laughs> in Google itself. How crazy is that? Let us search for Manorama. Now, this is a very good newspaper if you want to see a lot of advertisements and zero percentage news. Well, yeah, sad. <laughs> so, let's click on this. Um, okay, fine, right how it is loading now the why do we use web browsers we use it for browsing the website right that is the one use that we always use web browsers and people say we are privacy oriented and we expect some kind of privacy from the browser all that matters with a browser is the browsing speed or the loading speed of the browser now if you compare vivaldi with the bromide i can certainly tell you one fact the loading speed is bit a, a bit slow I mean like it is not too slow but a bit slow when compared to Vivaldi you can check out my Vivaldi video from the card below a card in the video or from the description below now it is easy to use the scrolling is pretty much uh, uh, pretty much uh, pretty much uh, okay the scrolling is pretty much okay okay fine um, even though even since it is a chromium based uh, browser um, google chrome do have some problem with the scrolling so it is bit uh, a bit laggy in scrolling so the sc same scrolling lagging can be expected over here too yeah anyway it's okay but it is fairly good now let's try to see a another website and another website let's try to load flip card how it is loading let's see right then yeah okay as i've told you yeah there is a bit lagging loading time when the website is filled with the too much graphics well you can tolerate it it's okay continue with english fine okay fine so that is about that now this is how the menu looks like it looks like uh, chrome itself let's have a look what we have here in the settings how it looks like now it looks like the chrome google chrome itself 
we have the search engines here okay fine so we have a lot of search engines duck duck go google english ecosia never heard about it passwords fine same like i mean, I mean all the options are exactly like chrome but we have ad blocking settings well yeah we have uh, um, that thing we have themes or oh, okay fine only two themes are available dark fine and light keep it is system uh, default so home page accessibility what do we have in accessibility text scaling blah 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 all these things you don't need now privacy and security what things do we have over here fine do not try let us enable it yeah um well you can enable do not track things from privacy and security i will show you the 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 uh, how to access it so go to privacy and security scroll up do not track it is over there okay fine so yeah it's good so basically it is all the menus and stuff like that are exactly sim, same like um, uh, same like a google chrome um so that is all you can say and plus let me talk to you about a couple of uh, advantages and disadvantages the main advantage with this browser is it is open source you can see the source from here itself um, click on the menu item click on these three buttons and go to the source thing so automatically you can see the source code that they have used to write this browser or alternatively you can search in um, google for bromite Oh, oops wrong spelling bro my github okay so yeah here we are this is the github github page for bromite so if you want to you can really get to know all the sources that they have used you can you can you can you can check out their repositories and stuff like that to know how it is being uh, written and stuff like that so this is the main advantage with this browser and plus on top of that it gives you a very good download speed in my experience i have um, or i was using this browser on my another mobile on another mobile and it is giving me a very good download speed very good download speed take it guys very good download speed if you want to download something from google drive definitely you can use it use the uh, bromite for uh, pausing the downloads and stuff like that um, well if you are using an another browser and you try to download things from google drive well um, yeah, you cannot pause it if you pause it yeah your download will be gone so um, in bromite it lets you to pause now um, secondly the user interface is pretty much clean anyone can handle this browser and it is very simple since majority of you have used google chrome as your daily browser so it shares the similar user interface to google chrome which makes you uh, or which makes it easier for you to use the same browser so that is pretty much cool and it is very very it is a very very good browser now everything comes with both advantage and disadvantage let us see what the disadvantages are now the number one disadvantage is it is not you cannot install it directly from play store you need to come to their website or you need to access their github page then download it from there so every now and then if you need an update you need to constantly check on their github page download fresh application file and install it in your uh, mobile phone this is the particular um, a particular uh, disadvantage that this browser has secondly if chromium sources are uh, if chromium sources do have some bugs the same bugs will be in bromite itself since it uses chromium as their uh, source or as their base so that is about this project um, well i will post the download link in the description below meanwhile you can check my other videos about uh, browser i mean uh, about browsers like i have done a review on vivaldi browser again it's uh, not fully open source but yeah it's a good browser you can also check that out the link will be posted in the description below and one more thing be sure to try this browser i will post the link in the description below once again thank you for watching let's talk by george and please make sure that to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any 
अपडेट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच